Hey everybody, Scott Sachs with the Synergy Group. We are here in Arlington County, Virginia, which is geographically the smallest county in the country. But don't let that fool you because Arlington is steeped in history, like the Marine Corps Memorial behind me, and also the Arlington National Cemetery that abuts this property. In addition, Arlington is home to a plethora of Fortune 500 headquarters and businesses alike. Located just over the Potomac River from Washington, D.C., Arlington is one of the hottest markets in the United States. And this is Rossland, a captivating neighborhood where modern living meets historic charm. Right here in the heart of the capital region, Rossland presents some of the most striking views of Washington, D.C., including the National Mall and Georgetown. Just a 10-minute walk from the bustling streets of Georgetown, Rossland is a hub of convenience and style. With easy access to the orange, blue, and silver metro lines, plus numerous bus routes, it's the perfect starting point for exploring the capital. But there's more to Rossland than just its location. It's a neighborhood with an urban heartbeat, offering a diverse range of dining options set against the breathtaking DC skyline. For those who love both city life and nature, Rossland's towering buildings are complemented by surrounding natural beauty and significant landmarks. We are outside of the Arlington County Courthouse in the community aptly named Courthouse. Right off Courthouse Road, this is one stop up from Roslyn. Here you get a mix of federal buildings, some office and light office, and you start to see that incorporation of residential, usually high density, so you'll get some townhouses, condos, and then you'll also have some nice uh, food options as well, including one of my favorite, Four Courts Irish Pub, some of the best wings in the state. We're here in probably the most sought after and popular community in Arlington County, Clarendon. Clarendon is hallmarked by lots of high-end retail, really nice restaurants. You've got a Whole Foods market right over here, new Tate. You can see the amount of development that is here. This is very community oriented. So you've got a lot of high density condos sitting along both Wilson and Fairfax boulevards. And then just north of us here is Lion Village, which is hallmarked by a lot of single family, very walkable community, starting at about $2 million for something with 2,000 square feet above grade. We're here in the heart of Boston, right at the corner of Wilson Boulevard and Glebe Road, which are some of the primary intersections in Arlington County and some of the busier roads that take you through the county. This is the last stop on the orange line between Roslyn and Boston. This area is defined by higher density at the core. So you've got some office, hotel, you've got condo, apartment building, great location for that blend of mixed use, walkability, shops, restaurants, nightlife. I've been a resident in Boston for over 12 years and Boston used to be a little sketchy. And now over the last five years in particular, they've had a massive redevelopment project which has gone from Boston to what you see behind me now, which is Boston Quarter. Now you've got really exciting restaurants. You've got Muscle Bar right over here. Down the street here, this is Lee Road. None of these buildings were here three years ago, even two years ago. This is all new residential, brand new neighborhood, Target, Silver Diner, and you've got all of these. These are a mix of apartments and condos down the road here. So you can see the trend of this infill, but what's nice about Boston as well, similar to Clarence is, not only are these really popular neighborhood spots, but they're very walkable where as soon as you get a block off, you've got townhouse and even single family home options that bring you very close to Metro access. And you're still a very short distance to be able to get in DC, whether it's 66, Route 50, Washington Boulevard, there's a lot of transportation options here making a very sought after community. We're outside Lubber Run Community Center in Arlington. This is a brand new facility opened about two years ago. They've got indoor basketball, a track, you name it, including a tot line and 
the capital of pickleball in Arlington County where you'll find players day in, day night, rain or shine on the courts. Arlington County is known for being very attentive to making sure there are ample green spaces, making sure that they are coming in and spending taxpayer money to refurbish old facilities. And one of the nice things about Arlington County is for $185 annually, you can get access to all of the facilities throughout the entire county. We're in the community of Westover of Arlington County. This is one of my favorites. It's very mom and pop. You've got a small uh, hardware store, ice cream parlor, lost dog cafe, and one of my favorite go-tos, the Italian store. We're here on Campbell Ave, the main strip in Shirlington, Virginia. And like the sign says, treat yourself to something fun. There's no shortage of fun here in Shirlington. The main strip includes places like the Carlisle, Taco Bamba, Astro Beer Hall, Bus Boys and Poets. You name it, this is a really cool, eclectic, mom and pop type vibe here. A very walkable street, really picks up Thursday, Friday, Saturday nights. There's only a little bit of density around this. You do have some condos and apartment buildings. Outside of that, you do have to walk a little bit. It is located just off of Four Mile Run and the trail system, so it's very interconnected into the Arlington Trail Network, including the Mount Vernon Trail. You can go all the way to Reagan Airport into Old Town Alexandria very, very easily and conveniently on a bike or by foot, making this a very sought after neighborhood. I'm honored to be standing here at Arlington National Cemetery paying tribute to the men and women who have given the ultimate sacrifice. And we would be negligent if we didn't have a focus on Arlington National Cemetery, the Iwo Jima Memorial, and other hallowed ground that really are the bedrock for the DC metro area, where the military history is woven into our housing. A lot of Arlington County, the housing was actually built post-World War II or even during World War II, 1940 to 1950, for military families who were coming here to Fort Myers or to be stationed at the Pentagon, NSA, etc., during one of the most pivotal points in American history. Because freedom isn't free. We need to remember that every day as Americans to do better and to try harder to support those families and those that ultimately are overseas sacrificing every day so that we can be here taking those liberties uh, for granted, quite honestly. Thank you to our veterans, to their families, to those that support them, the organizations that support them. We try to do our best to show our support through charitable donations, through our business and otherwise. I'm honored to be in this business and to serve military families and also to be intertwined with that history and have that appreciation, uh, it is never lost on me or our team. So thank you, and we hope you enjoy the video.